Hey, welcome back again to my new video, guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sanfix YouTube channel, and this is Poco F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X 5G custom ROM reviews. Back with again new video. You can see the logo here. That's the Ghost OS. Let's go into about section here. Uh, security patch you can see February latest security patch 4.19.246. No kernel has been used. That's also a February 16th build. You can see the technical specifications. Into the version information, Android version is 14. Again, again, if you can see here, when you touch any of the uh, version or anywhere in the screen, you'll get some uh, theming here and device maintainer goes. Android security patch is February 5th, as I said before. Vendor security patch is also the same. Build date is February 16th. I come back here. You guys can see this is typical home skin what we can get in this particular ROM, and these are the quick settings, toggles, and I have added these things. Dolby Atmos is also given in the edit section. You also get these options as you can see. FPS information. Let me add that. Just drag and add here. And other settings you can check out here. Let me enable this. You can see the real time FPS count on the left side corner here. As you can see, yeah, these are the apps what I installed. And this is the app drawer what you can get. And if I press and hold here, you get wallpaper center style lock screen again get that android 14 style home screen more wallpapers it is getting reloaded all the wallpapers are given here a wallpapers are also given this is a pixel waste and moreover here also there is a app the ghost icons you can actually select these icons for individual apps guys if it is in themed icons it will be more suitable what i can say and you can see when it is in the rest position it gone until one fps which is a very good rom i will be explaining everything in detail guys stay tuned till the end of the video and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and as you can see this how the uh, widgets you can adjust actually let me decrease it yeah you can completely decrease this you can move around yeah, I'll add here. This are the widgets we get, and dialer here simple. Google dialer we get. Direct video call support is also be there here, and into the settings, there is a call recording option, but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call. That's how it is, and wall for you. Here also you get some wallpapers based on Ghost OS Thistle. It takes some time for initial. Uh, loading for this particular app but there are some extremely good wallpapers here even pixel wallpapers you can directly download some of the wallpapers from here it is taking time for the first time i will show you at the end of the video and game space here if you want to add like for example i am adding bgm here if i go into settings still this is in experimental here prefer your mode i will prefer it as a performance definitely and the ui is really smooth guys as you can see i haven't faced any issue as of now and this are the settings what we get and quick settings toggles and here you will see the app active status and power button i can as you can see the animation is cool here and start with the spooky hub you can see user interface you get ambient display again ambient customizations you can do text animation amb ambient text and ambient texture type color you can select once you enable this you will get that options color text alignment ambient image also you can select select local image and click here to download gallery to image picker those are really amazing and highly customizable wake screen for notifications again if you want you can enable that always show time and info display schedule always show when charging music ticker edge lighting also is given here yeah why it is not working show time and info yeah maybe it's not working currently anyhow pick up and wake up are there here vibration haptic feedback strength are given here moving into ui style again i found vivid theme now we'll come back here as you can see it's in vivid now and these animations and visuals are really good in this particular room you will definitely love that once you flash this particular room toast animation again there are plenty here Floating rotate button, Android Pay animation style, charging animation if you want, you can disable that too. Charging background, full screen apps, screen of animation, smart pixels, monet settings again. There are plenty of customizations here. 
once you start using this particular rom you'll come to know about this accent color you can choose a navigation bar style again these are very similar to any of the custom roms now into status bar again you can see the animation how it has and the whenever i touch here you can see how the effect is clock style you can select here clock and date again there are plenty of customization here also you can select even the style font plenty are given here you can definitely check out this network traffic monitor also you get completely different here hide status bar option is given and status bar icons again you get these things if you want you can enable or disable from here and these all the things we get here if i go into here colored icons is there notification icons vivo if i can select old hd icon if you want you can select them logo i already kept the ghost one here if you want you can select them from here style as you can see there are plenty are available dynamic charging indicator and charging indicator settings again you get plenty of customization battery style only in this circle we get this color options but if you want to keep anything else you can do that but this color option is not available i will show that toggle colorful battery icon hence it's green now if it is uh, below some 50 percentage or like that it will be orange based upon the uh, percentage the color will change here tap to sleep brightness control quick pull down and in the miscellaneous settings again game space system haptics you can adjust the haptic feedback strength here use storage encryption spoofing that is also there unlimited photos storage is also there uh, swipe to screenshot is there what is not there here is the unlimited high fps yeah it's also present sorry that is also present but the tiling and this animations are really really cool i really like this particular rom guys something is different than every rom here that's why ghost is, is here with that difference and moving into navigation again you can see the animation again navigation mode again gesture navigation you can completely adjust the length and radius of this gesture bar if you want to hide completely also you can do that i think so no that's not available but other options are given but fine i definitely need these options it's again a personal preference pixel animation layout uh, these are the some actions you can do actually by pressing and long pressing home double tap recent long press you can choose this uh, settings here every options are different but settings are remain same you can assign them one among them and sound settings again as you can see this is the cool animation again audio effect mode dynamic mode bass boost mode soft reverb mode you can actually select them smart pass screenshot sound if you want you can disable from here volume panel styles also this are cool actually currently i will keep it to this one outline style yeah, it takes some time actually as you can see this how it looks like now and the vibration haptic feedback strength is also really good here realme ui style if you want you can actually select as you can see you can actually select the different types of styles from here guys and if you come back here and volume panel timeout also you can select from here uh, these are the things media output if you want you can disable from here for example yeah that's how it is and into the buttons again you get some options here too wake device answer call control playback reorientation keyboard cursor control these are the customization endless customizations provided in this ghost os for me 11x or the poco f3 guys uh, i think these are the customizations now moving into the other uh, actual settings here battery usage hasn't recorded but i will say it's a very good uh, balanced rom you can expect here battery charge warning is given charging control if you enable again you get these options here sleep mode is there battery usage and battery time battery stats this is new thing has been added from evolution x now it's carried throughout the way here every rom is having the thermal profiles you can select and battery widget again this and under 13 feature just revamp a little bit here these are the battery settings and sound and vibration again every intensity you can adjust special audio is also given even with wired earphones and bluetooth is applicable here and media vibration haptics and the good thing is they also added the patterns here and dolby atmos definitely we should use them once you use the headphones using the connector or the bluetooth thing you'll get some more options to enable that that's fine in my opinion and direct sound enhancer also given this is really great crazy custom rom this is they are giving everything here just you can't even uh, tell this is not available in this rom everything is enabled here and into display again here also i am shocked really dark theme again 
if I enable that, you also get this pure block options. As you can see, it's already in the pitch black condition. But if you want to make pitch black completely, then you can use this options case. Meanwhile, you can also check out the FPS count there, whatever it is getting. Let me turn this off. Yeah. And smallest with night light again, you will get that intensity adjustment and you can even schedule. And the, here I really like this colorful options. There will be always boosted and saturated in any of the custom room. Only in this particular room, there is a colorful options. Rotation settings again, you can select them. Peak refresh rate up to 120 and minimum also 120. Keep it max everywhere. Tap to wake anywhere on the screen. Tap to sleep. Let's check them out. Para app refresh rate. DC dimming is also there here. Hybrid twist mode, just don't use that whenever you want something to show off or using videos, any OTT application, then only use that. If you daily enable that, you will drain the oh, battery of your smartphone and it will heat up and see the UI response, how response and how stable it is. And moving into some other settings like accessibility, again, it's my personal favorite like this one. This is a handy feature as you can see without actually using the physical buttons you can actually toggle the volume up and down even without actually this one dragging down you can actually use the brightness here this is a handy feature you should definitely try using this ASP kind of ROMs flash notification Android 14 style these are you can check out once you flash the custom ROM now security and privacy again you get both face unlock and fingerprint unlock and even app unlock is also pre-installed here let me show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see and it's cool actually really really cool and the face unlock let me show you again it's also fast enough to unlock your smartphone using that and you can see the lock screen customization even if you press and hold here you get that lock screen customizations actually yeah and that's how it is i will show some results what i got here let me go into the file manager yeah i'll start with this one as you can see the version information and here Play Store certification has been done, hence the uh, safety and status get passed in both the cases. Basic integrity and CTS profile match. And here, the zone HDR support is available in Milan's using this particular ROM and level one certified. No need to worry watching OTT applications, guys, as you can see. And these are the rewrite speed test with numericals, and this is with graphical, as you can see. And the single score performance of Geekbench 6 in this particular ROM is 3114 and 3046 is a multi score lens 4.19.246. No kernel has been used in this particular ROM, which is cool. The scores are really good. And this is a 92 benchmark result. What I got in this particular ROM 4.8 degrees Celsius is the temperature raise, and 5% of battery has been dropped during this enter testing. And 766,623 is the score. What I got here and 240 MBps. This is a Wi Fi speed. I have 200 mps atl fiber connection and here you guys can say 47 percent is no challenge dynamic island is also available here and i want to show this one yeah turbo charging gradually it will increase the uh, wattage here but 33 watt charging support is included here you guys can say this is how the dynamic island will work once you connect the uh, charging here but when you once you make silent mode will it work or not no here that's not available yeah anyhow that's only available for charging your smartphone this is how the particular rom guys if you have any specific questions comment down in the comment section and camera application you get here hyper os kind of style you get all these options into the settings again you get all these options check out how the smoothness here and good thing is this one has been added haif format that's there metering preference you get average or face you can select them and picture copy up to super is given and in the video you get let's check that if i can select 4k here you will get up to 60 now only 30 fps option is available audio zoom and other, other options are given here in the more let me check out as you can see you need to download them it takes a little bit of time to get downloaded but every options are working fine no need to worry that's really good let's check out bgmi how it handle in this particular rom obviously you will get that smooth plus 90 fps options here as you can see i have enabled that you can see the real time fps count here if you disable this one i will try to disable that yeah now i can actually toggle from here also fps info let's check this out yeah you can drag and add here 
let's check that the smoothness in the ua is present fine here let's check in the game how it actually there was a lag if you guys can notice or not and i am playing via wi-fi guys if you play via 5g internet you might see some lag definitely based upon the coverage what you guys can see here let me enable this uh, peak yeah. meanwhile we took the chance anyhow this is a little bit difficult for me to play like this uh, the angle is definitely different here oh that was very close there was no lag even in the counter attacks but initially it was little bit of lag and definitely guys if you play classic matches there will be different experience is it hyper or what he has some speed yeah that was the gaming experience here You can use even gyroscope and you can choose the controls here. But 90 FPS is really working fine here. It is showing continuously 85 here. But fine. You can see. You will get some idea here guys. I am not saying completely you will see this kind of experience in your gameplay also. It again depends on several factors. Yeah, we'll come back here. This is the gaming experience and everything related to this ghost OS, guys. Welcome to ghost OS. Yes, loving us and as a beer. Yeah, definitely. This is how the uh, ghost OS, as you can see, these are the recent apps and app opening time also you can see here. Very much fast here and shutter speed also really quick here. Not the fastest, but definitely it needs some time. This is a Snapdragon 870 powered smartphone. Don't compare with Apple, Bionic A16 or anything like that, guys. That keep in mind. Don't think that if you have very good ROM, you can play better gaming or anything like that. That's not the case, but definitely it makes some difference, but not a huge difference that you need to keep in mind. This is the quick settings toggles. And really i like this kind of particular rom everyone must try if you're having mi 11x or the poco f3 or the redmi k40 you should definitely try this rom guys this is really different and unique and also having some interesting customization features here and it is stable that's the important thing it is stable actually and that's it guys this is Sampath signing off we'll meet you with another interesting videos until that keep smiling bye bye for now